so far, I'm incompetent and know nothing about leverage, and that's about how well today is going so far. So working as a couple on a home build, what has it been like for you? Tough, but I'm not the one with the baby in my back. <laughs> well, it's been completely new for me. I mean, we've worked on smaller builds together as a couple on our previous property, but nothing for me to this scale. So it's, it's definitely been a learning experience. And the last job we did together was a chick coop. Yes. And now we're doing concrete, doing mm -hmm. beams. I'm going to start doing the entire thing for a house, I'm trying to teach Aaron. Yes. How to make this work is yeah, a learning experience on my side. Definitely has. Yeah, I mean he's he's done an excellent job, I have to say, at at practicing his patience with me. I, I'm I'm completely learning alongside of him, and I think I've done all right. What would you say? You're doing good. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm 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 trying to. I'm mean, I'm trying to absorb everything that he's teaching me, and it's definitely been really um, interesting for me, and I've I've enjoyed the experience so far. The hardest thing about this entire task is not doing the job, it's with the kids around us 24-7. The baby, the two boys, they always need something, we always gotta stop, but that's the hardest part of this job, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. I mean, it's just the typical parenting duties that you have going on with, with kids, you know? I mean, the, the baby is definitely the most high maintenance of everybody, of course, which is, is understandable. I mean, she's she's got needs. Um, the, the boys are much more self-sufficient than, than she is, but we we push through it and we find a way to make it happen. Yeah, it's also good for the entire family. Boys seeing what we're doing, they get, I guess, an experience of what we're doing. Yeah, and... it's a good experience for the entire family and it's just, it's definitely brought all of us closer, I would say. What yes, do you think? Yes, yeah, definitely. So I really struggled here trying to find a good way to balance this beam. It was really heavy and I needed to hold it in place for him. You gotta keep in mind, it's an 8x8 eight eight pressure treated beam, 12 foot long. That thing's probably close to 300 pounds. I needed to balance it for him so that he could go ahead and mark where we were going to drill the holes. Yeah, it's a lot easier than measuring. We put it on top, square it up, make sure we're good, hit it with a hammer, and the uh, anchor bolt leaves the indention where I'm going to drill. So once he got everything marked for where he needed to drill, we were able to just roll the beam down and then he could start drilling. So our anchors are half inch, so I'm using a 5 8 auger bit to drill it out. Once that's said and done, I'm going to go to the other side and bore it out a little bit so I'm going to suck down that nut and washer.
So that's it, we got everything drilled out. Once that's done, we're gonna flip over the beams, bolt them down, and that's it. We just got done installing all the beams. Tomorrow's a new day. Our plan is to start framing up that floor. See you later, guys. See ya.